Shavua Tov. We were speaking about last week some of the halachot of Tochen, the prohibition of grinding on Shabbat. There's an interesting Gemara in Shabbat Daf Ein Dalit. The Gemara says the Gemara brings in the name of Rav Papa that a person who slices uh, spinach or beets very finely on Shabbat has transgressed the isur of grinding on Shabbat. Even though he didn't really grind it, he just sliced it with a knife, very small and fine. So that is considered melechet tochen. There's an in- interesting tshuva Rashba that Manana Bet Yosef quotes in Siman Shin Kaf Alef. The Rashba writes that this isur that Rav Papa was talking about is only when a person was slicing the vegetable very finely uh, before the before a samuch lesauda, if it wasn't close to, to the beginning of the meal. But if it was close to the beginning of the meal, then it's mutar. The Torah doesn't dictate to us when we sit down to eat how big or small the vegetable should be when we sit down to eat. So therefore, the Rashba writes that it would be mutar. Marana Bet Yosef says that be'emet etz la'alacha, according to the Rashba, that it's mutar as long as it's samuch lesauda. Like we spoke about by Dine Borer, samuch lesauda is within approximately half hour of the meal, the halacha is that it's mutar to slice vegetables even very fine on Shabbat. The Bet Yosef also adds that if a person is making a salad of mixed vegetables, it's better in order to avoid any uh, any you know possible prohibition whatsoever to tell them to slice the vegetables a little bit larger. Now he doesn't say exactly what's large, what's small, but a little bit larger than whatever fine means in order to avoid any safik. So that's with regards to that. Now, la'alacha, Marana Shulchanur holds the same way, that be'emet, if it's within half hour of the su'uda beginning, it's mutar to slice the vegetables even finely, and that's if you have a lot of vegetables to slice. If, it's, if you don't have a lot to slice, then be'emet, you shouldn't use the whole half hour, then only within a few minutes of the meal should be slicing these vegetables. Now, the Magin of Rahman, Siman Shin Kaf Aleph writes that it doesn't necessarily have to be half hour. He says from the time that men leave shul, let's say, you know, whatever, whatever time men usually leave the shul on Shabbat morning on their way home to, uh, to the house, so over there that's considered samuk le and uh, you can start chopping the vegetables very finely from then. Obviously, the Magen Avram was talking about that as soon as the men left shul and they came home, they sat down to eat and they didn't dilly-dally for hours until they started the meal. Obviously, that's the case that the Magen Avram is talking about. If that's what they do, then this wouldn't apply what he said, then it would have to be within maximum of half hour before the start of the meal. Yom Tov.